Let's try chicken feet, why not? I've had it a few times in my lifetime, but never at a Chinese restaurant. Yeah, you just gotta suck on this. I'm gonna pass on that. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Been Here in my hometown of Miami, Florida. Today I'm taking you to a very special restaurant, Tropical Chinese, one of the best Chinese restaurants in South Florida. They've been in business for over 30 years. Today we're gonna eat their entire dim sum menu, over 50 dishes, crazy. And they also have one of the best pecking ducks in the city. I'm super excited, we've been coming here for years. My wife and me are gonna chow down on a lot of Chinese food. Let's go to Westchester. I love this place. I've never had the whole dim sum menu though. I just get a little bit, but I didn't eat breakfast, so I'm ready. <laughs> like I said, we're trying everything on the menu. I, I, I think you overdid it. Hello Kitty right here, guys. <laughs> we have, I think there's more than 55 dishes here. I have no idea. I mean, there's so many different amazing things here. How do we start? So this is the roast stuff. It's not picking duck, it's but not picking duck, duck is coming, back, coming out in a Okay, few. okay. This is orange bean. <laughs> this is too much. This is uh, seaweed salad, uh, I mean, Chinese broccoli, uh, that's a five spice beef, uh, black, uh, black bean clams, that's a stuffed eggplant. Don't, don't worry, it's gonna get blurred then. <laughs> and we got some cocktails. That's why. Japanese whiskey. I mean, I love the presentation. Cheers. I love this guy. <laughs> This is really good. Here we have their hot sauce, dried chilies. So it's chili oil. Perfect. This is the best way to eat dim sum, right? Shrimp, tomato, and parsley. Mm. So good. And with the spicy chili, this is the five spice chicken. It's hot, so let's dive into this it's one spicy? right away. No. Mm. It's not like a honey chicken, it's more like a, it's orangey sauce. This is way better than honey chicken. It like, blows it away. I need to stop eating this, because it's too much to eat here. This is a vegetable dumpling with the, the dough is rice flour, so it's perfect for anybody who's gluten free. Awesome. I mean, you have to add I'm spice. Like, mm. Gluten free, good? Very light, a lot of flavor in there. Mm. But the spice, it's a must. This, this is cool. <laughs> oh, what is this? <laughs> So a, a shrimp taro patty. Very crispy. It's a good blend between the taro and the shrimp. I've never tried before. Wow. Really good. I love it. This is a pork and shrimp shumai. It's a classic. Anna, you want some? Yeah, let's try. We've had it several times. It's very good. This is my favorite so far. Wow. Let's try chicken feet. Why not? I've had it a few times in my lifetime, but never at a Chinese restaurant. Very like gooey in a way. Yeah, you just gotta suck on this. It's a good breading. I'm gonna pass on that. Bonnet, what are those? Shrimp shumai. Shrimp shumai. Mm. Good, huh? Oh, I love it. Everything's so fresh. They start making all this at 5 a.m. That's intense. There's so much food here that we're gonna take it home and we're gonna eat it for like three days straight. No. <laughs> this one? Oh, they're nice and heavy. Pork bun. Wow. I mean, that's not the way you do it, but. Oh my god. So good, right? And it's like, it's, it's a little sweet inside, you know? Mm. What is this one? Orange beef? I'm a huge Chinese food fan. Like, I can eat it like every day. Mm. Super good. Savoring every bite. The sauce. Mm -hmm. Crucial. If we didn't have anything else, I would just eat this forever. Because it's so good. Stuffed tofu? I've never had that before. Me either. You ready for this one? Oh, you're gonna pass. I'm gonna pass. Mmm, very wet. Mushrooms, pork, so the outside's tofu skin. It's pretty good. I'd do it if I was you. I've <laughs> seen a lot of other things. Beef try. Uh, so beef intestines right here. He's gonna try a little bit. They're cleaned very well, but other than that, 
I'm good with this. So here we have eggplant stuffed with shrimp. That's a unique dish. I'm gonna go with the smaller one. Yeah, definitely mix in the chili oil. You bite through it so quickly, it's like butter. The chili oil definitely gives it a nice flavor. It's nice. They grind the shrimp and they make a mash out of it. And that's the shrimp paste that they use to stuff lots of the dims that we're having right now. Spe specifically this one with the uh, eggplant. This is called sticky rice. I have to unwrap it. This is lotus leaf. Yeah, from the lotus flower. Oh my god, this rice. Look at this rice. Oh. There's uh, the shrimp in here. There's sausage. This pork? Uh, minced pork. Oh, it's very sticky. And there's chicken. You taste everything. The mix between shrimp, pork, sausage. I love how the sticky rice is like super sticky. Like even like <laughs> taking it down, it's hard to bite through. Because Cantonese, so by Hong Kong area. Wow. Okay. That's shrimp rice pasta. Shrimp rice pasta. You like Chinese Oh wow. Okay. Thank you. Shrimp pasta. Wait, wait. <laughs> Well, I have 11, tell me. I'm gonna try it. It's like a very thin crepe. What'd you get that? What sauce is that? Oh, it's your secret sauce, okay. I know, it's so good. This is your signature, the leek dumplings? Okay. So you can see they have a nice golden crust on them. They look very filling. Pretty thick, actually. Mm. Mm. Oh, it has shrimp in it, so it's not veggie. Nice and hot. Cheers. Chocolate Chinese, the best Chinese restaurant in Miami. These are crispy shrimp balls. I like the way they they made the crispy part on this. It's like, it's almost like a spaghetti flakes in a way. You have to eat the crispy shrimp ball with their homemade duck sauce. Pineapple, cherry, and applesauce. Oh. How's your crispy shrimp ball? Mm. With the sauce? Oh my god. It's delicious. It's like filled with shrimp. That sauce. That I control. Pretty good. How many things have we tried? What's the, what's the I think it's like 13 right now? 14? Here we have a stuffed bell pepper with shrimp paste. This is pretty big. This is like huge. It's gonna be hard to eat this whole thing, but I'll try. Mm. It's a good contrast between the pepper and the paste, the shrimp paste. But I have the rest of the shrimp for sure. With hot sauce. Mm. Amazing. This is a Shanghai pork bun. We gotta be careful, it's really hot. We have a sec, right? The juice is delicious. So you're supposed to suck out the juice that's coming out of the hole in the bottom. Give it a sec and then mix it with some chili paste. That took me straight back to Shanghai. It actually popped in my eye in Shanghai, but I'm not talking about that. <laughs> I'm stacking all this up for you, all the ones you've eaten. And so all the ones that haven't been stacked up, you're still working on them. And I think you've got another 30 to go. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> right here we have shrimp dumplings. This is everybody's favorite dumpling. Bam, right there, a little hot. Mm. Wow. Here we have chicken dumplings. It looks so good. This one I have to dip. No, no, no. I love it. I love it. I love it because it's like, it's not just like poached chicken, like it's real chicken. Good, huh? Yeah. Here we have the pineapple fried rice. And what they do here, they let it on fire on the bottom, so they let some of the pineapple juices cook into the rice. Crab meat, pineapple, broccoli stems, white rice, and ham. Much lighter than fried rice. Upgrade from white rice, but not as heavy as fried rice. Here we have a crab claw. Obviously, you grab from here. Oh my god, it's a lot of meat. I don't know how you use the claw as a handle. Oh wow, it's almost like crab paste. Hi, 
morning. My name is May. I'm from Tropical Chinese Restaurant, and this is our family-owned business since 1984. We're located on Bird Road, 7991 Southwest 40th Street. On our dim sum menu, every day we have about 55 to 60 items. On the weekends, we'll probably have almost 100 items. That's Saturday and Sunday. And our menu, I don't even know how to tell you about my dinner menu. That's a book of its own. So we make a lot of cuisine to fit a lot of uh, tastes. There's a lot of choices for everybody. We have pick and duck at night and the day. You don't need to pre-order because we make so much of them every single day. And dim sum is freshly made every single day in our kitchen. We don't buy frozen. We start every single day at 5 a.m. There are two dishes that you just shot, Dave. Uh, one is the shrimp rice pasta. So it's a Chinese rice pasta. Uh, it's made with rice flour and water. So mostly it's like 80, 90 percent water. So it's very healthy. And if you see the process, it becomes a noodle. And we freshly make that every single day, every single morning to order. The other dish is one of our signature, the leek dumpling. That's also made with rice flour. They roll it like a dough, first they have to make a dough. And the inside is actually chives. <laughs> it's not leek, but um, we call it leek. Back in the days, I was young and I had no clue what chive and leeks are. <laughs> but now I do. So it is made with chives and shrimp. So we do that as steam and pan fried. So you can choose to have it pan fried or steamed. So next time you're Miami or you're Miamian that you haven't heard of us, thanks to Dave, we are here for you. We are open every single day, 364 and a half days a year. We're only closed for Thanksgiving. And please come and please stop by and we will take care of you. These are some freshly steamed leek and shrimp dumplings. This is incredible. So this is turnip cake. This is like a big white radish. Tastes almost like a hash brown, actually. Spicy beef shank, so it's like a beef salad. Mm, cold. Mm. It's amazing. <laughs> this Kiko, we got Kiko here now. Yeah, this is Dave. Hi, how are you? Because so nice. we didn't get enough food, we're going also with the pecking duck. Yes. It is the best in Miami. So here at Taco Chinese, you order the pecking duck, they bring it to your table, they carve it, then they make these little preps. They put cucumbers, scallions, crispy like skin of the duck, they put some meat of the duck, and they put this delicious red sauce. And then what you do is you grab one, you just add a little bit there, the sauce. It has sauce, mine has sauce. They have sauce, they add extra sauce. And that's why you come to Tropical Chinese. And if you don't know why they call it Peking Duck, in the city of Beijing it's called Peking in Mandarin. So, Peking Duck is from Beijing. It's time for dessert. We have egg custard, sesame balls, and Mexican buns. These look amazing. Look at this. Yolo. Mmm, the cream filling. Oh my god, it's like a donut. <laughs> it's delicious. Chinese donut. This is so amazing. So inside we have egg custard and on top we have a sugar coating. It is the best combination. I don't know, I shouldn't be anymore, but it's the best donut. This is an egg custard. It's warm. I see that it looks flaky. Let's try it. Only slightly sweet. Slightly? No. Yeah. Not so sweet. It's good. So we did it. We tried so many things from this menu. There was something like 55 dishes out here. I don't know, probably try 20. Everything was so good. My favorite thing for sure was the pecking duck. And it was the last thing, unfortunately, but we're taking it home. And as you can see over here, we have like literally every single dish coming home with us. Check us out. So now you know when you come to Miami, head out to Westchester, the tropical Chinese, one of the best Chinese restaurants in the city. They have an incredible, extravagant dim sum menu. It starts every single day from opening till 3.30. And then if you come for dinner, you can order it from the menu. So many good things, and here we have a sesame ball. Oh. So if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel food content. I'll see you on the next adventure. Oh, hoo-ha. Mm. <laughs>